Hey guys, welcome back to 29. I had this video in mind a couple of days ago and the package, well, a couple of weeks ago actually, the package just arrived a couple of days ago, so let's have a look at what's inside. <sighs> How do they package this? So after that video about phosphorescence, I thought I'd do one on chemiluminescence, which is glow sticks. Need my notes for this one. So inside a glow stick, we have diphenyloxalate and dye just inside the tube. Then inside the vial inside we have hydrogen peroxide. When you snap the vial, the substances can mix, and when they combine, they form 1,2-dioxetane diene, which is an unstable component that breaks down to carbon dioxide, and as it does so, it releases energy. This energy is then absorbed by the dyes, and it excites the electrons up to a certain level, then as they relax, depending on what dye it is, it releases a different color of light. Wow, this is... Alright, I think I've got these in the right colors. So if the dye is rhodamine B, you'll get a red or a pink glow stick. If the dye is 512-bisphenylethanol naphthacene, you'll get an orange glow stick. If the dye is rubrine, you'll get a yellow glow stick. If the dye is 910-bisphenylethanol anthracene, you'll get a green glow stick. And finally, if the dye is 910-disphenyl anthracene, you'll get a blue glow stick. So I thought the best way to demonstrate this, rather than just cracking some glow sticks, is to show you the chemicals themselves. So what we're going to do is we're going to cut open these glow sticks, split up the chemicals, and see what we can do with them. Do not puncture or cut plastic tube. Ingredients are non-toxic and non-flammable, but may permanently stain furniture or clothing. So first of all, we're going to sort them out into different colors. Get that out of the way. Probably put a time lapse in here, because this is going to take a while. sure how I'm going to do this next part, but we'll see how it goes. So one colour at a time. Oh well. It's going to take a long time. Two hours later. Now given how little I'm getting from each one, you can only see like a drop down there. And the fact that this isn't really the safest idea, I think I'm going to stop here at 10. We're going to try something else. So you can see that little bit down at the bottom. We're going to add some regular household bleach. I have a one mil syringe filled with bleach. We're going to add a few drops of bleach to the mix. See what it does. Yep, turns out that is the wrong substance. This is why you don't listen to your brother. He told me this had hydrogen peroxide in it. It does, but it's 9 grams per litre, which is like less than 1%. That's why I didn't work. So there you go. Uh, don't try this at home, because I don't think it's safe. Uh, I'm going to try and work out what to do with all these now, because I've got about 480 uh, glow sticks still. So I'm going to package them up into individual colours. We'll work out something for that at a later date. In the meantime, hope you enjoyed this episode of 29. I know I really didn't do much. But hey, like and subscribe. Leave a comment down below saying what else I should do. Maybe what I should do with all these glow sticks. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye. Just finished cleaning up outside. And I thought this really wasn't a great video because the experiment let me down. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to throw in a giveaway as well. I'm going to give away 100 glow sticks. So another 100 pack. Um, so just follow the link down in the description on your, on how to enter. And if you live in Australia, maybe if you'd like, I can even send you one of the hundred packs of one color glow sticks. If it's up, it's up to you. I'll send you a mixed pack if you want. 
But yeah, link down in the description. Good luck.